Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to an evening celebrating the essence of womanhood with the many women leaders whose exceptional determination and zeal for success have made them achieve extraordinary triumphs. We are excited to unveil the Women Leaders 2024 by Passion Vista, a luxury lifestyle and business magazine from Unified Brains Media and Publication House. Through the pages of our magazine, we have been recognizing and spotlighting women who have made their mark on the world stage. Since 2019, we are proud to have presented hundreds of women in our five-year journey with this special edition. Through our esteemed publication, we've showcased the compelling journeys of those who fearlessly pursued their dreams, drive ahead with resilience, and show global vision. Tonight, we are privileged to pay homage to these remarkable leaders and pioneers whose commitment to excellence and diligence will go down in history books while epitomizing the essence of Women's Day Month. Our pages are a vibrant testament to the profound lives of these women who have overcome adversity, shattered stereotypes and redefined success on their own terms. We honor not just the achievements but the journey, the trials and triumphs, the sacrifices and victories that have shaped these remarkable women into the icons they are today. Passion Vista extends its heartfelt congratulations to all the honorees of Women Leaders 2024. Maya Angelou said, Each time a woman stands up for herself, she stands up for all women. We are launching this special edition in Women's Day Month as your stories inspire us to dream bigger, reach higher and be better. Thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion as we celebrate the boundless potential of the human spirit and the enduring legacy of women who dare to dream. Here's to the women leaders and all the women worldwide who make the world move and shine brighter. Cheers to a future fueled by the passion, purpose and possibility of every woman. Thank you. Let me present you this year's Women Leaders to Look Up To in 2024. Adriana Vadila, Amisha Kiri Hint, Annie Forsyth, Anna Maria Q. Bota, Anja Jursetic, Anne Marie Perrault, Ariana Mazia, Bianni Robinson. Brooke Rishi, Candace Oates, Katia Pinto Ferreira, Christiane Constantinier, Christine Schaffer, Colinda Latour, Dr. April Joy Damien, Dr. Caroline Rubin, Dr. Christina Ram, Dr. Imai Liana Minena. Dr. Joy Green, Dr. Catherine Tapper, Dr. Rini Kurvela, Dr. Fadila Alobaida, El Racy Dark, New Summer, Jasmine Francis, Johanna Jurstrom, Kanishka Tripathi, Kate Boga. Kendra Williams, Kinga Wajda, Leela Parsa, Meredith Rush, Monica Gadam, Nair Stefanian, Nega Warma Jane, Nicola Middleton, Sahar Al Marzoki, Sarah Kali. Sarika Mulukuntla, Suzanne Gale, Sorana Mohan, Tamara Bedon, Tavil, Tamika Mosley, Urvashi M. Doshi, Vaishnavi Sriram, Valesa L. Taylor, Victoria K. Shulman, Yasmin Sheriff, Yesenia Reynoso, 
My name is Adriana Badillo. I am the CEO and founder of Global Computing, a company established in Mexico 25 years ago as a software distributor. We are considered a key supplier of technology in our country because we offer software products for science, academic, research institutions, and the most important projects of government. We were considered a success case in Latin America because we position a mathematical product called Mathematica in almost all private and public universities in Mexico. It is a honor for me to participate in this special collectors edition of Passion Vista magazine in which we celebrate women. Even though each time women occupy more spaces in different fields, there's still a lot to be done. We need to eradicate the prejudices that are generated in our houses when we dictate the activities that our children should perform or we buy uh, the toys for our children or dictate the colors that they should wear. We also need to eradicate the gender biases that are generated in schools when we allow our children to participate in certain activities. For example, we allow boys to participate in soccer but they are not allowed to participate in dancing classes or we allow girls to dance but they are not allowed to play chess. Promoting diversity in our daily lives as well as in the work field will create a more equitable society that will result beneficial for all of us as it will boost creativity and productivity. As a woman myself, it has been difficult to combine my work life with my family life. I needed to be very well disciplined and organized. I motivated my children to participate in different activities during the afternoon so that I could continue working in my laptop. I am very proud of my two children because they are very talented human beings. They are now studying abroad and they are being recognized for their academic performance as well as for the values that they, they bring to the table. They are open-minded, caring and resilient. So I congratulate all the women in the world and um, would suggest them to continue work hard and open spaces for the future generations as we need to promote a more uh, equitable society that will impact the future for all. Thank you. Hello Passion Vista International Magazine. Thank you so much for having me today. It is a great pleasure and honor to be part of the Women Leaders of 2024 edition. My name is Ana Maria Sibota, originally from Romania, but hailing today from the United Kingdom, where I wear the hats of a multiple global award-winning entrepreneur and a passionate mindset coach dedicated to guide entrepreneurs towards unlocking their full potential and thriving in a life filled with purpose, passion and success. Being recognized as one of the women leaders to look up to in 2024 by Passion Vista magazine is not just a personal accomplishment, but a reminder of the immense responsibility I bear to inspire positive change and empower entrepreneurs worldwide. As I thread this path, I carry with me the unwavering spirit of resilience and determination instilled in me by my role models, my parents. Their unwavering commitment to their dreams, coupled with boundless perseverance and a generous spirit, serves as a guiding beacon in my journey. Today, as a woman leaders, we play an integral role in shaping the future of our nations, setting high standards, fostering innovation and propelling positive change. And through my experiences, and representing the United Kingdom at the various global events, I have learned the profound impact of collaboration, cultural exchange, and the power of diversity in achieving shared goals and driving progress. So for 2024, my vision is to expand my coaching practice globally, reaching out to more individuals, seeking to unlock their true potential and lead lives brimming with purpose and fulfillment. And this year holds the promise of boundless opportunities for growth and personal development. Now, I want to encourage the young minds yearning to make their own marks on the global stage, to embrace challenges as opportunities, commit to lifelong learnings and nurture a diverse network of supporters. Remember, the journey to global representation begins with unwavering determination and a strong belief in your capabilities. In closing, I want to extend my deepest appreciation to Passion Vista team for their relentless dedication to honoring excellence, innovation and success. Together, let's embark on a collective journey of growth, empowerment and limitless possibilities fueled by resilience, kindness and the unwavering spirit of pursuing our dreams against all odds. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Anna Jursevic, I am Senior Managing Partner and Director in Mofer Jursevic Partners. 
we are a boutique law firm situated in Croatia with our two offices in Zagreb and Prelo. We provide legal services to both domestic and international clients and we are part of the much bigger uh, cooperation of uh, independent lawyers and law firms called Visegrad Plus Legal, which operates throughout whole CEE region, however provides its services worldwide. And I am I am actually the one of the youngest uh, managing partners in Croatia, and therefore I am truly uh, uh, truly honored to be interviewing for uh, the Passion Vista magazine and to be an honorary for uh, the women le leaders to look up to in 2024. Our law firm is also a member of World Law Alliance Network. Uh, that is hosting the World Business Fair in April in London, where I will be speaking as one of the panelists on the topic of immigration policy in Croatia and about the new changes that the Croatian Foreigners Act brings. To all of the readers, I would like to give a message uh, not to give up on their dreams, their hopes, uh, from what they would really like to do in their lives. Uh, in my career, um, since I started very young, every morning I'm waking, I'm waking up not knowing what the day will bring. Uh, in, my, in my area of business, it's very, very stressful. However, every path is covered with thorns and without a good fight, uh, there is no success. So just keep your head high and chin up and the future is bright for you. And lastly, I would like to thank the whole Passion Vista team for being an amazing support, being very friendly and professional, very responsive in uh, this journey. Uh, I would especially like to, uh, to thank Karan for his uh, support from the, the very first interview until now. Uh, thank you again for uh, thank you again for being such an amazing enthusiast and for for bringing the best out of the people. Hello, I'm Anne Marie Perot, CEO of AMP Talent Group and Amp It Up PR from Canada. Our mission since 2004 has been to elevate the profiles of talents, businesses, and brands. Being recognized as one of the 50 global women leaders to look up to in 2024 is an immense honor and a humbling affirmation of my journey and the work we do at AMP Talent Group and Amp It Up PR. It's a testament to the power of resilience, vision, and the collective efforts of those who've supported and believed in our mission to amplify voices and talents across the globe. This recognition fuels my commitment to continue breaking barriers and inspiring others to achieve their fullest potential. Representing Canada globally as a woman leader holds a special significance for me. It's a privilege to showcase our nation's diverse talent and progressive values on the international stage. This role allows me to not only share the unique perspectives and innovative approaches we've cultivated in Canada, but also to learn from the global community, enriching our practices and contributing to a more inclusive and dynamic global industry. I'm profoundly grateful to Passion Vista for this extraordinary honor, recognizing the achievements of women and businesses globally, fueling further innovation and excellence in our work. This recognition deeply moves me and reinforces my dedication to our mission. Thank you, Passion Vista, for acknowledging our efforts and for your commitment to celebrating women leaders globally. To the vibrant community of young entrepreneurs, I encourage you to dream ambitiously and navigate your path with resilience and creativity. The challenges you encounter are stepping stones to greater achievements. Your vision and determination can sculpt a future that surpasses your dreams. As we reflect on this honor, let's remember our capacity to affect change. Our collective journey marked by dreams, perseverance and diversity sets the foundation for a future where innovation thrives, ensuring every voice is heard. Let's move forward with unwavering compassion, shaping a legacy that echoes through generations. Thank you for joining me in this celebration of leadership and vision. 
Together, let's forge a future of innovation, inclusivity, and success, making a lasting impact in the world we share. Hi, I'm Beanie, and I'm founder of The Health Space. The Health Space is an online nutrition clinic, primarily for women, focusing on weight loss, type 2 diabetes, hormonal health, and gut health as well. I'm based in London and primarily work from there too. I am so honored to have been featured as a woman leader to look up to. I've worked incredibly hard over the last six years setting up my nutrition clinic. And I've seen so many wonderful transformations of clients. It's such a privilege being part of someone's health journey. So I want to say thank you to all of those who've trusted me and chosen to go on that journey with me. It's also really inspiring to be part of such a great team of other women leaders and makes me want to work harder on my mission of helping as many women as possible feel more confident, more vital and health optimized than ever before. When I started the health space, I would have dreamt of being considered for such an award. So thank you for recognizing me. As anyone who started a business knows, it's a wild ride, full of ups and downs, heaps of learnings, and I'm grateful for all of it. Thank you to the amazing team at Passion Vista, particularly Rohan, who I've been working closely with. I'm truly thankful for the work you guys are doing in recognizing and giving a platform to both me and all the other women leaders. For any budding entrepreneurs, I want to encourage you to be brave and go for it. If you've got an idea, run with it. It'll be worth it and you'll learn a huge amount on the way. Thank you so much to Passion Vista for including me as a woman leader to look up to in 2023. Hi, I'm Brooke Ritchie. I'm a musician and holistic voice coach. I'm the owner and CEO of Wasp and Fig Sounds, which is my business that I created in May 2023 with the mission of helping people with this concept of a symbiotic relationship between a fig wasp and a fig. You might think that has nothing to do with you. Here's the concept. It's a moment of pain that is all encompassing and blinds you to the world that's out there, outside of the pain. You can shed light onto this pain though and create beauty around it. So with Wasp and Fig Sounds, I've developed a eight week program called Amplify Your Voice. And this program is an eight week journey inward as you go through six modules that reignite your beliefs, reframe your focus, and step into the ownership of who you are and what you do. Your voice is an organ of your soul. And what we do in this program is find and develop your holistic voice. So this leads me to say, I'm not necessarily one with a background that shows that I'm a top women leader but being asked to be an honoree, as I have spent 15 years of my life navigating and overcoming complex post-traumatic stress disorder, it is the utmost personal honor to be here and to be represented, and to be represented in so many countries for women to show you that you can have and you can do anything you want. But yes, you have to turn into the pain and shed light onto it. Find the light in the dark night or the color in your shadow. So I'm an American and I live in the United States and something about this opportunity that just drives my, my passion is the fact that this is a global opportunity. I love, I love, love, love networking. I love, I'm a bridge builder and so getting to represent the United States with Passion Vista Magazine, a magazine that is focused on bringing passion into your business, the heart of things into your work. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful and it's driving me forward to my next opportunities. So thank you Passion Vista team for first finding me and then also giving me a platform to use my voice and to amplify it with others who are maybe coming up after me and if that's you and your curiosity is sparking like wildfire right now, trust it. Trust that the organ of your soul is speaking in for you, for your benefit. And be curious about where it's gonna go, about the beauty you're going to create. I know you will.
Hello, my name is Candace Oates. I am coming to you from Denver, Colorado in the United States. I'm very excited to be featured as a woman leader to look up to in 2024. My work includes being a diabetes prevention specialist, a health coach. I work in personal training and teach fitness classes, which spurred me to start a nonprofit named Obesity Awareness in Action, OAA for short. We um, focus on the underprivileged, underserved youth from the 5th to 12th grade and we teach youth how to live a healthier lifestyle um, with the, all of the eight dimensions of wellness so that people understand that health is more than just running and eating salad. It encompasses so much more. So sharing um, that information with others brings me so much joy. I want to thank Passion Pista Magazine for this opportunity and for this global experience. This is my first global experience, but it's one of many to come. I want to tell the youth out there and anyone listening that don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do. If you believe that you can change the world, you can. You just have to believe that you can do it. Thank you so much for this opportunity again. Bye for now. Hello, my name is Kalinda Latour, and I'm a self-love coach, author, and speaker. I am originally from Canada's north, but now live on the south coast of England in the United Kingdom. I am honored to be one of Passion Vista's Women Leaders of 2024 to look up to, and I'm so grateful for being featured in the special edition on International Women's Day. Last year, I published my book, Living in Love, How to Create a Lifestyle of Love, Faith, Bliss, and Crazy-Ass Manifesting, all in 31 days. For this book, I created a challenge where I gave myself 10 acts of love to do each day for 31 days. And I did this because I wanted to become love and operate from a place of love, but I wasn't sure how. And that's when it came to me, put love into action and do loving things to raise my vibration and become the loving being I am meant to be. During this challenge, I realized that self-love is fundamental to humanity's well-being. And that is because when you love yourself fully and fill your life with love, you naturally love others. I also came to believe that there would be no hate, no fear, nor anger towards others if people truly loved and accepted themselves. And this is why I became a self-love coach with global aspirations. In my coaching, I specialize in helping high-achieving women break free from the relentless cycle of internal pressure and seeking external validation. And I guide them on a profound journey of self-love and genuine empowerment. It is through loving ourselves that we can have an impact on our world. And as we transition to a time where more women are in places of power, I believe love will become a stronger driving force in how we operate on a global scale. And as women enter into more leadership roles, there will be a shift in how our mainstream institutions such as government, healthcare, education, and capitalism work. There will be a stronger emphasis on love, fairness, support, and kindness. We can change the world with love. And that is what I want to share with the youth today. Do everything from a place of love. If you live your life according to how can I serve, how can I help others, how can I create more love, you will create a most beautiful life for yourself and those around you. And that is what I want to do on a global scale with my membership program, Global Love Generators. I plan on creating this program to generate more self-love and then spread that love throughout the world by putting love into action. Do you want to join me? Let me know. And I just want to give one more huge thank you to Passion Vista for such an amazing opportunity. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. April Joy Damien. I'm a psychiatric epidemiologist and health services researcher by training 
and serve as the Vice President and Director of the Weizmann Institute in the United States of America. I can currently serve as a Senior Scholar of Health Equity at Academy Health and hold a faculty appointment at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. The mission of the Weizmann Institute is to promote equity and optimize health outcomes for vulnerable populations through innovative research, education, and policy. We have a reach of over 75,000 healthcare professionals across all 50 U.S. states, Puerto Rico, Guam, the District of Columbia, and increasingly a global audience in our three core specialty areas. First, the social determinants of health, particularly community violence, climate change, and social integration and loneliness. Second, creating a culturally responsive workforce that is able to keep up with the rapidly changing field. And third, systems transformation, including the role of primary care in public health, as well as data-driven care through precision medicine, wearables, and other advances in healthcare technology. All of this work is grounded in our three core values of excellence, innovation, and equity and inclusion. I am humbled and deeply grateful to have been selected as an honoree for women leaders to look up to in 2024. This recognition creates an international platform for me to first share my gratitude for my parents, ancestors, mentors, and extensive network of support who have helped me to get where I am today. Second, to raise awareness about the pressing health and social challenges that I continue to address through my life's passion and work. And third, to hopefully inspire other leaders to seek to create positive social change. I've had the privilege of representing the United States through my global work for my time in Geneva, Switzerland, working to prove policies and programs to address the psychosocial well-being of survivors of human trafficking, to implementing strength-based approaches to addressing trauma and promoting resiliency in children and families in El Salvador, as well as improving health and education ministries and systems in Haiti to help children with special needs to thrive. I'm also grateful to the team of Unified Brains Group particularly Drs. Jiri and Mitu Singh for your commitment and leadership to creating an international network of thought leaders where business meets passion, and to Ms. Lelisha Singh for your guidance in this process. I hope that my own story of committing to a life of service and leading a purpose-centered life will inspire your young readers and entrepreneurs to pursue excellence in all things, to seek to serve a cause greater than yourself and to be grateful for all those who have paved the way before you and have poured into your growth and successes. Hello, I am Dr. Carolyn M. Rubin, owner of Carolyn M. Rubin Consulting and TV host for Empower Fuse, unleashing inspiration together. I have been in healthcare for 32 years. I am a life coach, six phase meditation trainer, speaker, mentor, and coach, supporting and empowering individuals, including women leaders and entrepreneurs, but providing them with information, training, and tools they need to succeed. I am humbled to be honored for women's leaders to look up to in 2024. It's a significant honor and highlights the positive impact, dedication, and leadership we have achieved. This recognition highlights individual women and their contributions from around the world and serves as an inspiration to others. Representing my country at global events is a significant honor for me. I enjoy sharing personal experiences, my culture, and aspirations on a world stage. I love to foster international collaboration and understanding amongst all members. To the team of Passion Vista, your dedication to showcasing inspiring stories is commendable. Keep illuminating the path for others with your work. And to the young leaders and readers and entrepreneurs, stay curious, be bold in your endeavors, 
And remember that every great achievement starts with a single step. Use the resources available to you to innovate and drive positive change in the world. Hi there, my name is Dr. Christina Rahm, and I want to start by thanking Passion Vista for what you guys are doing for me and so many others throughout the world. I am a scientist, I'm a mother, I'm an artist, I have patents, I write books, I do a lot of things for really the global improvement of women and business leaders throughout the world. I will be traveling to India this next week like I travel all over the world. I've actually gone to 89 countries representing women, businesses, and science in the endeavors to improve global affairs. I will say this, as a scientist that has multiple PhDs and postdocs in nanobiotechnology and bioscience engineer and in nutrition and other areas, my sole focus has been really trying to help this world clean up by getting rid of the trash in the environment and in our bodies and supporting the world through the wonderful people that are in this country and all the countries throughout our wonderful universe. I know that life isn't easy, but traveling globally to really impact the world is so important to me. It, will, it might be easier to stay in the United States, but for me, there are other countries that need our help as well. This is part of why I spend my time really dedicating to humanity as well as to the science endeavors to improve our land, air, and water and to improve human and animal health. We have to clean up this country. We have to support each other. The economy has been bad. The oil and gas crisis, the different wars that we're having and the health issues make people frightened. My hope is as a PhD scientist and psychologist that I can help people through the businesses that we have. It takes a village, it takes a world for us to improve what we are supposed to take care of. And I think at DRC Ventures, that is what our dedication is to the environment in our own bodies, in our own countries and, and throughout the world. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Emiliana Milena, the CEO of Visa, and I'm honored to share a few thoughts with you today. Coming from Italy, I'm so proud to lead the Visa, a company dedicated to pushing the boundaries of innovation scientific projects related to digital transformation, as well as a high quality professional training. Representing my country at global events has been an enriching experience. It's an opportunity to showcase not only the innovative work happening at RISA, but also the, that uh, it's an incredible talent and potential that Italy has to offer on the world stage. I want to take a moment to express my gratitude to the team at Passion Vista for their unwearied support and dedication. Your platform has provided invaluable opportunity for network collaboration and recognizing, and I'm so proud and I'm truly grateful for this partnership. And finally, to our young readers and uh, inspiring entrepreneurs, I want to leave you with this. Never underestimate the power of your dreams and the impact you can make on the world. Stay curious, stay determined, and above all, believe in yourself. The journey may be challenging, but with passion, perseverance, and the willingness to embrace failure as part of the learning process, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Be safe. Bye. 
everybody, my name is Dr. Joy Green and I am an accountability goal achievement coach being featured as one of the women leaders to look up to in 2024 and passion Vista Magazine. And this is such an incredible honor. It's a testament to the dedication and the hard work put into empowering individuals to reach their fullest potential. Grateful for the recognition, excited to continue to inspire others on their journey to success and contribute to positive change on a global scale. Women leaders have the power to shape the future and make their country proud through their unwavering commitment, resilience, innovative thinking. By leveraging their unique perspectives and talents, they can drive positive change and foster inclusivity and lead their nations to greater prosperity and advancement. To the youth to represent on a global platform, believe in your potential, embrace challenges as opportunities to grow, and never underestimate the power of your voice and ideas. With dedication and perseverance, you can become a beacon of inspiration and influence on a world stage. Remember, the journey to global recognition begins with a bold vision and determination to turn your dreams into a reality. One thing I would like to do in 2024 is to expand access to scholarship opportunities for underrepresented communities. I am passionate about leveraging the playing field in education and ensuring that every student has the support and resources they need to pursue their academic and career goals. As scholarship coaching, I am expanding my accountability coaching. And the intended is to collaborate with organizations, institutions, and community leaders to develop targeted outreach programs and workshops empowering students of diverse backgrounds. Passion Vista is more than just a magazine. It's a platform that celebrates innovation, creativity, and excellence. It provides a unique opportunity to showcase inspiring stories, share valuable insight, and connect with like-minded individuals who are passionate about making a difference in the world. Again, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be such a part of a prestigious publication that elevates and empowers women leaders globally. Again, I am Dr. Joy Green. I am an accountability goal achievement coach and in 2024, I will be expanding as a scholarship coach, teaching and giving guidance to underrepresented students to showcase that scholarship and financial aid is out there. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. K. Tapp, a physician and holistic health and lifestyle coach. I'm a Jamaican who's now living in the US and I am filled with gratitude to be featured as a part of the women's leaders to look up to in 2024 by Passion Vista. Now women bring a certain energy and vitality to any situation from the lowest to the highest level. You know, women, we are strong, we are resilient, we're graceful, we're intuitive, we're creative. Listen, the list goes on and on and on. When I think of women leaders, not only do I think of women leaders who are leading in their career and jobs, but also women who are leading in their life. Women who prioritize their health, who take care of and nurture their families, who know what they want and are driven to positively impact the world. My role model has always been my mother. She has taught me the wisdom, the grace, and the confidence to navigate through life and so much more. One of my goals for 2024 is to embrace and enjoy each and every moment as I continue on my mission to serve women in the holistic health and wellness space. I empower women to glow in their wellness from the inside out by using a holistic approach to their health and well-being. Now what I would say to the youngsters who are really trying to figure out this thing called life, I will tell you three things. Number one, be true to who you are as you discover over time what that really means for you. Number two, 
find a mentor, find someone that you look up to that can guide you along the way because you don't have to do this all on your own, this thing called life. And number three, make sure that you take care of your health and understand that your wellness starts from within you because guess what? You only have one life and you can't enjoy life if you don't have your health, right? So thank you so much, Passion Vista, for all the global work that you do and for featuring me, highlighting me as one of the women to look up to in 2024. Thank you so much. Hi, um, I'm Dr. Jenny Kukla, I'm a gynecologist and laparoscopic surgeon, and the owner and the director of the School of Member Skills, a specific skill training center for the doctors, specifically gynecologists and general surgeons who have done their post graduation in surgical fields. So, uh, my passion has always been to treat and to beat. So I thought of combining both these and going ahead and doing something. So I feel really blessed that people have come to know about my training and my passion also. So I feel honored to be a part of this event and to be a part of the Passion Fitness staff. Also, I would like to thank the organizers for choosing me as one of those blessed people to be featured in your magazine. And I feel all the women in the world should focus on their own care first and then the ones around. So the first thing is to learn self-defense. You should not be dependent on others physically, mentally and financially. It's not a crime to depend on others, but your ultimate aim should be to be self-dependent. There is a difference between independence and self-dependence. And I always I feel blessed because I'm lucky I'm the person in my country. In fact, my country is where I was born and brought up which is India, and then I leave and make my dreams come true, which is in the specific area. So, being a female to represent these countries on print media, which is a magazine, which has so many readers and viewers, is such a blessing and a an honor. So, this is what I want to tell the ones who are listening to me and so take care of yourself first so that you can take care of others around you thank you and having a great great time ahead hi everyone my name is Albrecy Doc and I am a deaf educator thanatologist behavioral health consultant and author I would like to take a moment to say thank you and express my immense gratitude for your recognition of my contributions within my field. This moment, while immensely humbling and gratifying, I hope also serves as a moment of reflection and inspiration to those who view this video later on. You see, loss, grief, trauma, and death are all elements of the human experience which provoke anxiety and emotional distress, and most people often don't know how to react or respond in those scenarios. For this reason, I like to emphasize the importance of compassion and demonstrating compassion towards others. I think we could all agree that the world would be a better place if we were all a bit more compassionate. But more often than not, especially in today's world, you might be the only person who asks somebody, how are you feeling today? And when that person responds to you and says they're having a bad day, they've hit a rough patch in life, they've lost someone or something that they cherished dearly, they're feeling overwhelmed due to trauma, or perhaps they're even struggling with suicidal ideation, you might be the only individual that stops what they're doing 
and fully takes the time to focus only on them and listen to what's bothering them, listen to what's on their mind. You might be the only individual who takes the time to listen to them, to truly understand them, and to listen without judgment. And so compassion is the method by which we change someone's life for the better, even if it's momentarily. And we all have this capability. So I ask you, if all of us have the capability to change someone's life, at least one person's life, for better, what prevents us from doing more? Thank you. Hi, I'm Jasmine Francis, and I am the co-founder of Human Connection, an HR consulting firm located in the United States. I've been notified that I've been selected as one of the top 50 women in the world to look up to for 2024. And this honor has been bestowed on me by Passion Vista. So Passion Vista, thank you so much. How does that make me feel? I am so honored. Um, I'm a little bit in disbelief. I'm so grateful. It feels so good for my work to be seen. And I would have never thought in a million years, little old me would get this type of accolade. So thank you so much. So when I think about women leaders and what we're doing to make the U.S. proud, it makes me go back in time. Women were not allowed to vote. We were not allowed to do a lot of the same things that men were able to do. And, and you know, through time on this journey, here we are now in 2024 and we are crushing it. We are not only doing everything that they told us that we couldn't do, but we're running the country as well. We're doctors, we're lawyers, we're more than just one thing. We're multifaceted and we're able to use our skill sets, our brains and our passions to do the things that we love better than me. Um, and so because I do live in the United States, when I go to global events, I actually am really, really open-minded. I do not think that I know everything at all, and I don't think the way that I do things is the only way. So when I am in attendance with global events, it's important for me to listen and learn. Um, it's always interesting to listen to how other people do things, how other countries do things, and I bake that into my way so that I can continue to be better. So for the youth that eventually want to be on a global platform such as this, I encourage you to just follow your passion. You know, the accolades will come, but when you do what you love, that's what matters. And if you do what you love, you're gonna do it well, and you're gonna be recognized, and you will be on a global platform. So my role models, um, I've had many. I will very quickly go through a couple. Two of them are famous. Um, one of them is Beyonce because she's Beyonce, um, but not only that, she does not let anything hold her back. And I love how driven she is and it inspires me every single day. The other is Dr. Dr. Maya Angelou. Um, she had gone through so much and yet she still rose and she became a, an amazing worldly figure. Um, through her literature and a lot of the work that she's done. Also, I have two other role models who were previous managers who taught me that you can be both business-minded and empathetic at the same time. And that's how and who I aspire to be. So one thing that I wanna do in 2024, this year, I'm going to take better care of myself, both physically and mentally. Um, that means going to the gym a little bit more often. That means taking a rest when I need to take a rest and really practicing so much more self-care. Um, and so lastly, final words for Sadant. Sadant, thank you so much for being a wonderful partner to me. You helped me throughout this process and I am completely honored that you selected me to be a part of this, this wonderful global accolade. And to Passion Vista, Keep doing your thing. Keep recognizing people all over the world. There are talented people everywhere. And the fact that you are recognizing them means everything. Thank you. I love seeing women work and do what they do not. Being able to work in 
freedom, whatever they want, and how they want, and most importantly, with their passion. That, to me, is a woman with power. For me, all women must have the opportunity to grow and develop, to find their passion for what they want and get there. Creating their own big life based on a dream and vision. My name is Johanna Bircher, and I'm from Sweden. And, I'm as, and I work for a I'm a senior entrepreneur who has been six companies over my 20 years as an entrepreneur. I am proud, and it means a lot to me being highlighted as one of the women leaders to look up to in 2024 in Fashion Vista, a luxury lifestyle, and a business life. I'm a leader who loves to develop new leaders and see other people and reach the full potential. I am so proud to see other people leaders develop and create their conditions and in life where they are in the term and help others. I'm proud to be one of the female leaders changing the world and there are many of us to keep up what we do. I have many experiences over my more than 20 years as an entrepreneur. I have helped thousands of women transform both in their health of mind and beauty, but also in their business. I am sending a few words to you for our job. Take care for yourself. Be authentic. Mother is a woman who does what she can thinks of and reaches her goals. In 2024, I would like to educate even more women in my program so they can create more opportunities for others with their unique knowledge. We need to be glad that we have faith and taking the tools Thank you, Tasha Vista for the opportunity and mention in the fine race. It's an honor and I look forward to 2024 and the opportunities which will place. Love from me. Bye. Namaste. I'm Kanishka Tripathi, the founder and creative director of Mars Yoga. First things first, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Fashion Vista and their team for awarding me with the title of Women to Look Up to in 2024. This is an incredibly special moment for me and I take great pride in representing what I do and the different run of Quebec. Mahasagar is an interactive e-commerce collective that strives to garner greater representation and visibility to homegrown brands. We join hands with new age businesses with a mission to bring back ancient wellness rituals, particularly in the modern fast-paced world. We're driven by Indian heritage and rooted in our culture, one mindful purchase at a time. The biggest catalyst and inspiration behind my passion and vision has been the need to be my own person. I come from a culture where men are usually the defining factor for women. I can safely attest that this mentality is changing to a great extent, but is not yet eradicated out of its roots. It is definitely a long way down the road, but seems like a promising start. So we keep pushing and hustling. We're on a way to build a better future for India and for our generations to come. I'm very excited to see all that Passion Vista has put together. The idea, the agenda, and community building more than anything else. I think it is extremely important for women to support each other, to stay connected, and to exchange ideas. The future is female, and we're here for it. Congratulations to all my fellow awardees. Wishing you all lots and lots of success for the days and years to come. Hello. First of all, let me start off by wishing everyone a very happy International Women's Day. My name is Kate Bogar, and I am a business English coach. That means that I work with international companies and train their employees on how to use professional English for their jobs. And now, thanks to the internet, I'm lucky enough to have clients all over the world using and learning professional English from our digital courses and membership, along with a fantastic team of teachers worldwide. Together, we've worked with international companies who make big tools, small tools, work in fashion, IT, food, and even two professional sports stars. We've worked with companies here in Germany, where I live, in Canada, where I'm from, as well as the Middle East, Kazakhstan, Russia, India, France, Italy, and so much more. 
Before I go, I'd like to express my gratitude to the Passion Vista team for such a lovely experience. I am truly honored to be part of this inspiring group of women. Hi, I'm Kendra Williams. I'm a licensed professional counselor, life coach, and best-selling new author. So I just wanted to talk to you today, um, just to share a little bit about myself. Um, as a licensed professional counselor, um, I work with children and at-risk youth in the community. And as a life coach, um, I have my business Worthy of Grace LLC. And with that, I help women heal from past relationships to rediscover their confidence and become the best version of themselves. And as well, um, I'm a mental health advocate and I had um, did as well. I have a book um, that I co-authored called Maintain a Solid Mental Health. And with that, I talk about life stressors and how you can overcome. As well, I am a self-published new author for my book, Am I Not Worthy? And in that, I discuss past relationships and overcoming self-doubt. I'm so honored to be featured in Passion Vistas, Women to Look Up To in 2024. And I'm just excited to know that my contributions to society is appreciated and that I'm making a difference in the world. So my experience with the Passion Team has been amazing and they just made the process so smooth for me. So. I'm excited to share uh, with the viewers my journey and to just let them know that, you know, no matter um, what they have going on in their lives, maybe you're a young entrepreneur, um, just wanted to be inspired that you can overcome anything as long as you set your mind to just believe, believe in your dreams and believe that it is possible to fulfill those dreams and you know no matter the setbacks that you have you can't overcome those um there are people in this world that do want to help you um i know for myself i've been helped by people in my field um as well and they just want to see see you succeed so i'm excited to share that with you and i'm excited to um yeah just hear the feedback from the viewers about um, my story and just to just to be inspired and I'm excited to be a part of this upcoming issue. Thank you. Hi, I'm King of Vida and I'm so incredibly honored to have been selected by Passion Vista and to be featured on a very special collector's edition of Luxury, Lifestyle, and Business Magazine as one of women leaders to look up to in 2024 and representing the United States. My business, Execute Your Intentions LC, is very purposefully named that. The reason why is because I believe that through project management, which is something that I did for many years, is really about the people. When we have common goals and common core values, I think that we can usually accomplish whatever we want. We just need to find really the skills and when we look within ourselves and the right people, we can do almost anything. We have a lot of big problems to solve and I want globally leaders to feel like we can unite. And so having this recognition and having this opportunity and the platform, I feel like I now have a voice where I can spread my message of hope for young entrepreneurs and hopefully inspire and equip people that we can up level some project management skills and work with agility and adapt in our new global economy where maybe we can pull together and make things happen and protect one another. I think that there's so many ways that we can truly come together, work better together, honor each other for our differences seek ways that we can work through um, our differences and really look for talents and stop feeling some of the oppression that is unnecessary. 
I'm excited about the future. I hope that you are too. I am here to support anybody who wants to up-level their project management skills, work with integrity, elevate others, and to work towards positive common goals with integrity and love and kindness. Thank you so much for this opportunity as a woman to look up to in 2024. It's been an absolute pleasure working with the Unified Brains team and Passion Vista. Everybody's been very, very wonderful and it's been an incredible experience. Hi everyone, I'm Nari Stefanian, Iraqi Armenian Danish citizen. Living in Denmark since 2000, I started working in Mission East since December 21st as a finance officer. Mission East's work ranges from emergency relief in crisis situation to long-term development assistance. I'm truly honored to be recognized as a honoree among the women leaders to look up to in 2024. This recognition is a testament to the collective efforts of countless individuals who have supported and empowered me and my thoughts during my journey. It is not only a personal achievement, but also a reflection of the progress we are making toward gender equality and the acknowledgement of the valuable contribution of women in leadership role. I proudly consider myself related to three countries. Iraq has given me birth and life. Armenia who gave me strong roots, which made me strong standing on the ground. And Denmark who gave me security, hope and ambition to achieve my dreams. I'm re really thankful to each member of the Unified Brains Group team. They are playing a crucial role in our achievements. And I want to express my sense of appreciation for your commitment and hardworking, and I'm really grateful. My message to young people, embrace the journey you are on. Stay curious. Stay hungry for knowledge, chase your dreams, and never underestimate the power of countless Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Nicola Middleton. My company is God Brands. We work with brands that are messages to humanity, to the whole world, to help uplift humanity and take humanity higher in our thinking and in our living, to just evolve our species higher. Um, I come from South Africa. I also live in Italy. I'm very honored to be an honoree for Women Leaders to Look Up To in 2024. It is very fitting for the work that I do. I do call myself a world leader. I call myself humanity's mum because I really see how we can, with love and with nurture and with quality leadership that is pure and motivated for the right reasons, we can evolve our species so much higher. And it is an extreme honor to be recognized for my work. I also love to represent my country, either South Africa or Italy, at global events, because it's always good to be an ambassador for your country and also to be a role model. We need to be role models. I want to say thank you to the Passion Vista team for the beautiful, faithful, diligent and hard work you all do behind the scenes to find us and then to promote us and to shine the light on us so that the world can see us in our work and can hear our messages and benefit from our leadership. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is so much appreciated. A message to the young people, entrepreneurs and young people. I want to say to you, if you can dream it, you can do it. And also in the words of Nelson Mandela, it is only impossible until it's done. Thank you. Hi, Passion Vista leaders. I'm Sarah Lali. I'm the Chief Communication Officer and Head of the Academy of a med tech company called Health Optimizing. This year, I feel honored being featured among the amazing women leaders to look up to in 2024. 
after representing my country and my company at several global events, of which the last one in Dubai at the Health 2.0 conference, where I received the Outstanding Leadership Award for the contribution in healthcare. I'm grateful all the team passion this stuff for giving me this chance to share with you my story, my passion, my view on life, and what drives me. Enjoy the reading, and I really hope that this is going to be of inspiration for a lot of other young women and entrepreneurs to continue pursuing their passion. Susan Gale here from the USA, where I help facilitate the work done at a place of light. It is such an exciting honor to be featured by Fashion Vista magazine as a woman leader to look up to in 2024. I hope to take advantage of this opportunity to let women of all ages know they can accomplish whatever they want to do. Women and girls who inspire me are those like Greta Thunberg of Sweden and Malala Yousafzai of Pakistan who saw an issue that needed to be addressed and just took steps to do it. It didn't matter that it was dangerous. It didn't matter that it was unpopular. It was what they felt in their hearts they needed to do and so they took action. This inspires me. If you are a young woman who wishes to make it have a global impact, I suggest that you focus on being your best at whatever it is you choose to do. But choose that which fills you with joy and purpose and makes you feel good about being yourself. Keep on working it, following it wherever your action steps take you, allowing your goodness to spread where it needs to go. And if it's a global process, that's great. But if it's local, and you're feeling good about yourself and others are benefiting from you, that's just as good. My personal goal in 2024 is to encourage a global membership on our membership site. On this site, people from around the world will be able to speak of their intuitive experiences and speak freely without worrying about being judged, without worrying about being made fun of, without worrying about people rolling their eyes. Instead, they can gain insight and understanding and realize they're normal. Having intuitive experiences is normal. I just want to add, though, it is really an honor to be selected by Passion Vista magazine as they showcase only the best, whether they're featuring people who seem to surmount insurmountable odds or talking about how to run a business or where are the best places to travel, they only showcase that which is outstanding. And to be included in that is really special. Hi everyone, I am Swadla Mohan from Austin, Texas. I came to the U.S. in 2006 and been here since been in Texas since then. I came as an engineer and over years ventured into the field of real estate and that's how I started my journey of entrepreneurship. I have two main businesses. One is my real estate brokerage. We help clients purchase and sell residential and commercial properties in all major metros in Texas. And, my, and we have about 50 plus agents that are affiliated with the brokerage right now. My second wave of business is the syndication wing. Through this syndication wing, we identify investment opportunities like buying a building or uh, doing a land development project. We pull in money from our investor base and hold and manage these projects and try to provide a certain return to our investors over a specified period of time. My vision for my businesses is aligned with the purpose of my life, which is to enrich the people around me or that I come across in any way I can. So if I have a personal or a business decision to make, I'm always asking myself, how does it impact the people around me? Be it my kids, my peers, or my clients. I think every woman is a warrior, a fighter in some sense or fashion. 
and they carry inherent strength to face the adversities in their lives. So if there is something that I can do to help them in their endeavor, sign me up. Thanks to Passion Mr. Team for bringing my work and passion to the forefront and featuring me in this list of women leaders for 2024. This is such a privilege to be among other women, other great women who have made so many contributions to this global society and for recognizing all our work. And I would also like to thank Fashion Vista team for doing such hard work in, in recognizing so many women and letting us share our lives and work with other people and giving it a voice so that it can inspire so many more. Keep this crusade going. One thought I would like to leave you all with. As women, why do we have to put our lives in a certain bar and get comfortable with it and even try to make the best of it? If I can encourage all of you to truly think about what is happiness to you and push yourself out of your comfort zone to achieve that, you are going to realize your true potential, which is so much more than what you may have envisioned. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tamara Beydoun Tawil, and I am the founder of Tamara Bay Coaching. My practice is committed to helping and empowering others, mostly women, through the process of behavioral change. With my practical tools, step-by-step co-created action plans, and non-judgmental space of active and compassionate listening, I work with my clients on a journey of self-discovery and growth, allowing them to reach their full optimal health and live a life aligned with their vision and aligned with their values by bringing both my expertise as a functional medicine health coach and a trauma-informed coach. It is truly an honor today for me to be taking part in this collaboration with Passion Vista to celebrate all the women out there for their, stru- for their strength, their vulnerabilities, and their inspirational role as, women, as a woman leader. I am humbled by this nomination as a woman leader of 2024. There is so much inner strength in each one of us if we are prepared to delve deep within us. It's within this depth that we discover freedom and empowerment. My my congratulations to all the women on this special day. Keep shining and keep thriving. Your contribution is changing the lives of many. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tamika Mosley and I am the CEO and founder of Everything Health. I am based in Seattle, Washington. I am the author of two books, Sickle Cell Natural Healing and Healing from God's Medicine Cabinet. I am a holistic consultant and my clients are based domestic and also international. I provide information and remedies on how to reverse chronic illness naturally. My clients have been battling chronic disease for many, many years and not getting results from their current treatment. I also educate on left and right brain healing, with the left brain being more herbs, minerals, and vitamins, and the right brain more of using the power of the mind. Things such as grounding, deep breathing, sound frequency healing, and speaking positive affirmations. Both are very important for healing the body as a whole. The reason for starting my company was because I have a child born with a fatal blood disease called sickle cell or thalassemia. Millions of children and adults are still dying every year from sickle cell disease when they do not have to. My son was hospitalized every two months at the age of one and his health was deteriorating over time. So I started doing extensive research on plant medicine so my son could have a better quality of life. Today, my son has not had a sickle cell crisis in 13 years. I am currently in Kenya, Africa on a healing retreat. I've been here for three weeks and have treated and healed over 600 people. And it's been amazing. Today, studies show that 95% of the population are sick and ailing and something must be done. And my true passion is to help all of humanity who's suffering from chronic disease and to let them know we can have a better quality of life. And thank you, Passion Vista, for this grand opportunity. I am so honored to be featured as one of the honorees of the women leaders to look up to in 2024. Thank you for publishing my story to the world. People desperately need to know this information, to know that they can have a better quality of life.
And today, as we begin to step back into nature, I encourage all you everywhere to reconnect with your ancestral roots because at one time on this earth, every civilization all partake in healing from the traditional medicine from the land. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Urvashi Nair, the founder of Mexican Indolific Association. Our expertise relies in protecting and promoting intellectual property of individuals and businesses. I hail from India, the land of knowledge, culture, innovation and intelligence. In 2024, I want to establish the foundation of my startup, focusing on commercialization of IT and contributing towards my country's economy. As inspired by the vision of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji to make India the third largest economy by 2030, I want to put my contribution towards the same. One thing I would like to say to all the women out there that get up, dress up, show up and never give up on your dreams. It is a big honor for me to be featured as women leaders to look up to in 2024 and passion is the magazine. It shows that the people admire my work and leadership. This recognition is a great achievement and a sign that my work is making a difference. Representing my country on a global level fills me with an immense pride. It feels like a small contribution to a big impact. I feel proud that my contribution in business can bring value to a larger global community. To the inspiring youth, I wish to say that do not copy others. Be innovative as copying takes creativity. Find your own path to success. In New India, your ideas will be protected and promoted. So be creative, follow your dreams and make a mark on a global platform. It is a great initiative by Passion is the Medicine to bring incredible people from all over the globe on a one platform and bring them to a limelight. I want to give a special thanks to Siddham for connecting me with Passion is the I would also like to thank Siddham for supporting and understanding my role as a mother to a one-year-old daughter. In the dynamic world of global creativity and mentorship, I, Belisa L. Taylor, stand as a strong source of inspiration and empowerment, fueling bold and fearless aspirations. As a corpreneur, a TEDx global historic speaker, and an author who has transformed so many lives in the world. My journey has led me to be prominently featured in Passion Vista Magazine, where I proudly represent the USA. With honor and respect, I embody qualities of leadership, resilience, and a stead fast commitment to excellence and offering hope and encouragement. Reflecting on my time in the Air Force and my dedicated work to uplift women and women veterans, especially serving 22 years of service, this is a transformer, the power of passion to inspire hearts and minds to become passionate and know it's deserving to be on Passion Beasts magazines as a testament to our shared pursuit of excellence, guiding those striving to reach their full potential. In the ever-changing landscape of corporate America, I advocate for unity, innovation, and genuine connections that break boundaries, especially in the empowerment of women and women veterans. I see you alongside fellow emerging global leaders, 
We embrace boundless potential, evolving from caterpillars to butterflies, guiding by our belief in the unity and collaboration. Unify brains, acting as a catalyst for transformative change, fosters a space where unity and collaboration prevail. Their mission, unites individuals and organizations in a harmonious symphony of cooperation, innovation, and support, lifting the community to new heights. To all esteemed global trailblazers, I express my sincere gratitude for steadfast support and belief in a bright and inclusive future. Together, we body unity and resolve, paving the way to a world where our dreams are vast and extraordinary. I am Belisa Taylor, embodies empowerment and leadership at the heart of Fashion Vista magazine, representing the unwavering spirit of the USA with authenticity and determination. Let us unlock our potential and influence guidance by formative power of unity and collaboration. In the dynamic world of global creativity and mentorship, I, Belisa L. Taylor, stand as a strong source of inspiration and empowerment, fueling bold, and fearless aspirations. As a corpreneur, a TEDx global historic speaker, and an author who has transformed so many lives in the world, my journey has led me to be prominently featured in Passion Vista magazine, where I proudly represent the USA with honor and respect, I embody qualities of leadership, resilience, and a steadfast commitment to excellence and offering hope and encouragement. Reflecting on my time in the Air Force and my dedicated work to uplift women and women veterans, especially serving 22 years of service. This is a transformer, the power of passion to inspire hearts and minds to become passionate and know it's deserving to be on Passion Vistas magazines as a testament to our shared pursuit of excellence guiding those striving to reach their full potential. In the ever-changing landscape of corporate America, I advocate for unity, innovation, and genuine connections that break boundaries, especially in the empowerment of women and women veterans. I see you. Alongside fellow emerging global leaders, we embrace boundless potential, evolving from caterpillars to butterflies, guiding by our belief in the unity and collaboration. Unify brains, acting as a catalyst for transformative change, fosters a space where unity and collaboration prevail. Their mission, unites individuals and organizations in a harmonious symphony of cooperation, innovation, and support, lifting the community to new heights. To all esteemed global trailblazers, I express my sincere gratitude for steadfast support and belief in a bright and inclusive future. Together, we body unity and resolve, paving the way to a world where our dreams are vast and extraordinary. I am Belisa L. Taylor, embodies empowerment 
and leadership at the heart of Passion Beast of Magazine, representing the unwavering spirit of the USA with authenticity and determination. Let us unlock our potential and influence guidance by formative power of unity and collaboration. Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to express my sincere gratitude and heartfelt thank you for featuring me as a woman leader to look up to in 2024. My name is Yasmin Sharif and I'm the Executive Director of Education Cannot Wait. We are a global fund for education in conflicts, climate disasters and refugee situations. We are part of the broader UN United Nations system and we serve children and adolescents together with our partners uh, across over 40 countries. Today we have reached over 10 million children and adolescents and mobilized over 1.6 billion dollars. A big part of our work is precisely that, to mobilize resources and amplify the voices of children who are suffering furthest left behind in situations of abnormal challenges such as a conflict, a war or a sudden climate disaster. It's a very rewarding job. And um, I spend most of my life in the work of uh, humanitarian settings, but also to promote um, a development approach in the midst of the crisis. So that basic services and human rights are not taken away from those who are the most exposed. By training, I'm a lawyer. I'm specialized in human rights and international humanitarian law. And when I graduated in the late 80s, I uh, very shortly thereafter joined the United Nations. I have lived and worked in many countries affected by conflicts, um, uh, having um, many refugees to take care of uh, or climate disasters, whether across the Middle East, across Sub-Saharan Africa, Asia, or even during the, the conflict in, in the Balkans and the Mountains. And uh, a few years ago, I also wrote a book, The Case for Humanity, an external obsession, where I developed, I would say, my vision for a better world and what we can learn from history and the great minds, women and men who walked on earth before us. There is a universality out there, and that universality is humanity. It's passion for those left behind, and it's empathy. And I think with that, and strong determination, everything is possible. And with you, I look forward to further, further great big boundaries. It's possible. We can make it for all the millions and millions who need us out. Thank you very much. If there is one thing that brings us all together, it is the power of storytelling. Hi, I'm Yesenia Reynoso, and I am the founder and principal owner of White Communicate, a communications firm that assists clients in establishing and maximizing their brand presence and voice through in-house corporate communications. Since 2021, we've been working with organizations such as Project Pedals, the City Tutors, Argo Vibes, Prolific PR, among others. Aside from White Communicate, I also bring almost 15 years of corporate communications experience working in corporate America for both for-profit and non-profit entities. On that front, I worked with top executives, shareholders, board of directors, sponsors, and more, building footprints, executing external, internal, and digital communications, and event support such as the iconic New Year's Eve ball drop. To say that being recognized as one of Passion Vista Magazine's women leaders to follow for 2024 is an understatement. This is a tremendous recognition, and most of all, a calling for me to continue paving the way for leaders to find their true, authentic self. We are all storytellers in many ways. Each of us has a story to tell that resonates, inspires, and educates to cement our narrative. 
to be part of an exclusive club of female leaders who empower others, celebrates the resiliency and determination we bring to the table. My sincerest congratulations to all the women being honored this year, the class of 2024. Just representing my country, USA, and reinventing the way we do communications, bringing it back to the basics, is a lifelong mission I will take with me, wherever I go and whatever appearances I do. March is Women's History Month, and we recently celebrated International Women's Day. Ladies, this is our time. Together as one, we are a force to be reckoned with, a true beacon of leadership. Let's keep supporting one another and amplifying our impact to generate real equitable change. Thank you to the entire Passion Vista Magazine team for believing in my work, message, and vision. This publication is your power. Finally, to all the readers, as well as entrepreneurs, be uniquely you. Your story, no matter the style, is what's going to resonate with millions. Be different and don't shy away from revealing your truth. No one has the right or power to turn off your light. Many blessings.